have an opportunity currently. Um, we talked, I guess, at the beginning of the year, and um, we had talked about management and talking to other people. I even ended up talking to Blasco, and, and I've been hitting up a lot of people, put a lot of effort into that approach. And we got some responses, but nothing quite yet. And we talked to this agency called Interlight Agency, who is a couple of former Roadrunner guys. Um, and they're really interested, but then kind of later in the conversation, come to find out they work on a retainer. So it's a monthly retainer, but, uh, it, it could be help. And that's like, I guess that's what the, being at the crossroads, like what is a good consideration business wise? I'm going to give you, and this is my opinion, and I'm sure the folks at that wonderful agency would disagree. Okay. <laughs> um, but I have met and work with, and I'm friends with, and it'll sound like I'm just Donald Trump hyping, but I have met and worked with some of the greatest managers that ever lived since, you know, I, of my age group and forward, right? And not one of them got a paycheck guaranteed every week, every month, nothing. Here was their deal, Michael. No money for artists, no money for manager. The great managers work on a percentage because they believe they can take your music and turn it into money, right? Anybody else, not anybody else, the bus driver needs a paycheck, the roadie needs a paycheck, they're not your partners, okay? Your agent works on a percentage basis, okay? Um, I had some young manager who, who shall remain nameless who contacted me through our course and was taking on a new artist who just spent $35,000 to get a record deal. And I explained to that young manager that in the real world, a record deal means somebody's paying you to make a record or paying to make your record and paying to market the record. And they'll find all kinds of ways later on to bum you out about that, okay? But it doesn't start with Hey, I got a record deal, I paid for it. That would be my general advice on paying somebody a retainer to manage it. Now, having said that, have they offered a plan? Have they, do they have a plan to get you a record deal? And if they get a record deal, what happens with that management deal? Yeah, yeah I mean, we, we had a couple of phone calls that discussed uh, you know, where we're at in music and like, they, he's, they say they have connections to licensing and sponsorships, uh, yeah, which, sure. yeah, and and, um, and then as well as booking, um, and then we would further, you know, go down the details of that um, as the next step. And then they do get 15% if they get a record deal, but we were, it's a year, it's a year contract. Check people's history is the bottom line, Michael. It's the internet. It's fine. Google world, okay? And I'm gonna yeah. say if they don't have two or three pages of visible success, you got the wrong person. Here.